All right, welcome back. It is Wednesday, and that means it's time to cook. First thing you want to do, scan the QR code that's on your screen, and that'll take you to a link for today's recipe. And today's recipes are in honor of the event called the World of Chocolate that benefits the AIDS Foundation. It's coming up this coming Friday, February 17th, 6 to 9 p.m. at the Union Center. It's where chefs from all over Chicago present uh, recipes incorporating chocolate, savory and sweet, and you just walk around and enjoy all of this great food. So for today, I am doing two chocolate recipes, one savory and one uh, a delicious uh, orange chocolate mousse. We'll get to that in a couple of seconds here. So I started, I, I put it in this plastic thing so you could see it, but uh, in a, a, a giant pot, like a Dutch oven or an Instapot or a slow cooker, I've got uh, beef stew, the, the beef chunks. I've got carrots, sweet potatoes, onions, garlic, uh, salt and pepper, and thyme. And then the magic ingredient in this whole thing is some dark chocolate. This is bittersweet chocolate. It doesn't wind up coming up bitter, but it's about two ounces of the chocolate. And the other magic ingredient, really any time that you're cooking with chocolate, put a little strong coffee in it. Now it doesn't make it sweet, it doesn't make it coffee tasting, but it just intensifies the flavors like crazy. You know, if you're doing it in a Dutch oven, uh, probably about an hour, you know, on a very slow temperature. If you're doing it in an Instapot, about 45 minutes, slow cooker, four or five hours uh, easily on a high setting. And when it's done, it all breaks down like this. Look how nice that looks. And then you can put it over some nice pasta, and it's a wonderful dish, and it's a really unique flavor because of the uh, coffee and because of the uh, chocolate that is in it. A little parsley on there for to make it look pretty. Now, mm, that's good. Now, the sweet side of this recipe is uh, an orange chocolate mousse. It is a chocolate mousse using only about five ingredients and some orange liqueur. We're gonna start off in the blender with two eggs and two egg yolks. All right, so that goes in here. About a quarter cup of light brown sugar. That's gonna go in and some orange zest. You're gonna need probably about a teaspoon of orange zest. All right, so. We'll just do that for now, just to make things easy and quick. Give this a little blend. And then into this, we're gonna add, we're gonna add some uh, heavy cream. And we blend that up, it's gonna get nice and super creamy. We're gonna add in the orange liqueur. Got some Grand Marnier going in. And of course, the chocolate, this is about four ounces, again, of the bittersweet chocolate that I put in the microwave. It melts down, and all of this is gonna blend up beautifully into a, like a sort of a pudding-like consistency. So just let this go until it's completely fully incorporated. So when it's done, it's gonna go into glasses, of course, and then refrigerated for, well, overnight is better, but at least a couple of hours. And you can see when it's refrigerated, it really gets very mousse-like. You can throw a little whipped cream on top of each one. And that's it. That's all there is to it. That's as simple as this uh, to make. So. Get yourself some nice fancy glasses and pour it in. Here's again the information about the World of Chocolate event. I'll be there on a Friday night. It's from six until nine, the World of Chocolate. It's over at the Union Center, 500 West Jackson in Chicago, and you can get more information at aidschicago.org. Cooking with chocolate sweet and savory today. All the recipes are on the web. Let's throw it over to Mike.